So this is the start of the history of the great first giant panda that arrived in Tokyo, in, arrived in Japan. So it was in the 1972s when the panda first turned up, two of them. And then moving over to 1977 where they stayed together for a long, long time. And then in 1980, the arrival of a female panda turned up, from what, which was called Huan Huan. And then, on around about the same year, the other, one of the pandas that stayed originally with them passed away. Then, another male panda from 1982 arrived, Fifi. Fi. And then they had their very first baby giant panda was born in Japan in 1985. Oh wow, they actually did the actual operation. Oh, so... Oh, the baby was... The panda was struggling to give birth to it, so they actually had to do an actual, like, human version of a birth for the panda. It gave birth for it, but it, sadly the cub died 43 hours before it even had it start its own life. Then in 1986, they had the birth of Zhong Zhong, female cub, lived here for a bit. So there has been quite a few pandas, aren't there? Then we had a new birth in 1988 of Yu Yu, a male panda. And then he had Yu Yu's departure to China, so one of the pandas left in 1992, before I was born. And then Ling Ling turned up. So we've been, they've been getting pandas every year, almost. Then Tong Tong passed away in 2000. Death of Fifi in 1994. And the death of Huan Huan from 1997. Oh my god! Three pandas died literally in a matter of less than five years between each other. Then Ling Ling's travel, travelled to, to Mexico for three times by 2003 without success. Uh, <laughs> 2003, the arrival of Sean Sean, female. So, Sean Sean went back to its original home in China in 2005, then Ling Ling passed away in 2008. Then Riri in Xinjiang, male and female, turned up in 2011. So, I came here around in 2017 almost. Oh, Xinjiang's first delivery and the death of the cub. So, it gave birth and then sadly the, the cub died at the same time. On the day seven, the cub died on, on day seven. Jesus, that was in 2012. 2017, this is the um, year that I was here, people. So we have the birth of Zhang Zhang, female, there she is. That's the panda that I was trying to see, but we couldn't see her because they had to look after her. But then, Zio and Lili in 2021. This was two years ago during COVID. Adorable. And then the 50th anniversary, 2022, the departure of one of the most favourite pandas left without going back to China. Love history that people from all the way from 1972 all the way up to 2022 and it's now 2023 crazy people 50 years of history right there all compiled in well, about four minutes <laughs> by yours truly lol <laughs> there's the panda this is the panda uh, that i saw in 2017 exact same one and it was doing the same thing as I saw it. Probably what it's trying to do, it wants to go into the other one because it looks more like an Antarctic. But 
if I recall, this is like around about a couple of this is this this bear's one of the oldest ones they have. So I won't be surprised if it's literally it's just because it's old. <laughs> I know, they know it's dinner time. Oh, he's up, he's up, they know it's dinner time. It looks like she's also checking if that one's up, so probably, like I said, people, they always check temperatures, any sicknesses on every single animal, so they do it every single day. And I see that, check, giving them eye drops, so more likely that this, this seal's slightly blind, or he's got bad ears, or oh, bad eyes, I mean. That's it. <coughs> wow. Just like that. He's there, like, where the fuck's my dinner? Got my eyes everywhere, as usual. Fucking out, poking out one. Fucking peacock. Fuck it. Anyhow, so I'm heading over to uh, pretty much we've done. We pretty much have done nearly all of it now on the East Garden. Uh, is there anything that I did not miss? No, so I saw pretty much everything. So we're moving on to uh, the West Garden, and one thing I've just figured out something, yeah, people, I was just researching this yesterday, and I completely forgot to tell you this as well. <laughs> the Drink Prime. <laughs> There's one store that actually sells in Japan. Um, it's nowhere in Tokyo, it's outside of Tokyo. But do you know how much it costs over here? 11,000 yen. That's, a, that's, that's 66 quid. 
for a bottle of Prime. And it's not even a nice one, it's the great one. And it's fucking vile. Oh my god, 11,000 yen. I've got three bottles of it at home, that's... Shit, that's like almost 50,000 yen worth of fucking Prime. <laughs> so, I wonder why people are looking at me weird when I'm drinking Prime. Thinking I'm fucking made of money. <laughs> Also, they know that I'm probably, I'm definitely a foreigner, but fuck it, I don't give a shit. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head off with, over to the rest side of the gate now and see what we can find. Well, see what animals there is. And if I remember, I think that's where the pandas are as well, so let's, let's go and have a look, shall we? So, the west side area now is like quite a lot of these small animals, so it's mainly for like children area, but they do have some of my absolute favourite animals around this side, so I can't wait to see them. I love, I love smaller creatures than um, the big. The big monsters, oh well, the big monster animals. Well, let's say it's lovely view up here, people, because literally you can just see all the way through down to the bottom side of the air of the whole entire city. Jeez! Now this is actually a really spot-on view here, people, because these animals over here, you can't really see them from far away, but up here, you have to see them quite well. Yeah, I don't know if I can't tell for what they are though. I don't know if they're ducks. No, they can't be ducks. The one in the fucking trees. <laughs> It'd be some sort of like crane of some sort. But they're all over the area. Geeses? Nah, it can't be geeses either. They can't be swans. We'll find out when we head down there. But there's looks like everyone everywhere. All the way down. Jeez. Most chillax animals right here, people. The kangaroos. Beauty. There's every single one of them wants to get in some shade because it's freaking hot out here. And I'm gonna be roasted like there's no tomorrow. You guys know me. Here we go, people. Panda area. Time to see one of my most treasured, their, well, their treasured animal of all time, the panda. Oh my god! Red panda. It's the Donald Trump poor birds. I don't give a shit, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> And there's John Biden. <laughs> Dude, this, this guy's fast. Guy's fast as hell. I'm waiting for him to run faster again. Nope, he's going into his hot pot. Job people to get to the actual pandas. You've got to line up to see it or see them. That's fucking cute. Oh my god, man. I think I might go and see the animals first, the other animals first, before they go to bed, before I see the panda. So, I just sat down for a minute just to evaluate the queue. The queue is like snake queues. You're queuing up for a week. It's like the actual Peter K skit. Queuing up for a week to see one thing or go on the Big Dipper. Oh my god, they actually, everyone's so, so excited to see the pandas. But I'd like to see what we can go and see next. Because if we can go ahead and see the other animals first, before the actual, before the actual panda itself, we have more things ahead of ourselves then. So let's try and see the other animals first. We still need to go and see the unicorn and we still need to see all the rest of them. So let's go check them out, shall we? There's also supposed to be one of the most, one of the most treasured, greatest horses of all time. Like the actual, the best breed of them all. So let's check them out too. I'm just still walking, people. 
and they actually extended it this far. Oh my god. You could be queuing up for fucking hours, man. Fucking hours. It's a good thing I've got it's a good thing I've got music to get myself entertained whilst I queue up. But like I said, first off the animals. The other animals before that panda. Penguins! Oh, God, stick, God, stick, God, stick, let me smash. Going to the wall. The Jackass Penguins. Welcome to Jackass. Third, third zebra, a third of a deer, and a third of a giraffe. Can you stop focusing on the railings? If you want to beat the crowd, get higher. That's the way to do it. Yeah, just want to show us his backside. And it's off again. Look at those. Move it to the other side. No, no, oh, oh, so oh, you got Oh, that baby hippo wants to play games with us, literally dodging every single camera shot everybody's been taking, so everybody's like that, for fuck's sake! The big massive rams, if I ever call them. It's shit, it's shitting. Oh god, it's, it's shitting. It's fucking shit. It shit itself. <laughs> Great shot of that animal shitting. Oh! Oh! Okay, so that's what it's supposed to look like. He's up there. Literally hiding. If I can get, get a good angle, I can try and get him. There he is. Right up there. God. So we're in a dark room area, people, so lollies. Oh! Oh, one wonder match. Yeah, one wonder match. Oh, he's going for more. He's going for more. Oh, 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 oh. If you're a little bit squeamish, ladies and gentlemen, this, these are called the naked molar rats. I'm going to just zoom in so you guys can have a look. They have had babies. That's what they look like. <laughs> and the main ones up there. <laughs> They're quite freaky creatures. Beth, 
Why is your cat in the exhibit? I think we found your cat there. Yes, the first. They're coming. Oh, hello. There's one. There's another one. Whoa. They're running. What are these? King of Jewels. That's how they pronounce King of Jewels. King of Jewels. <laughs> they're fucking everywhere. They're running like there's no smoke. Like, no. They made me fucking meow. So yeah people, I can't take pictures in here because the, the um, flash actually starts doing it so I'll be just filming these little areas people so if you guys want to if you guys want to see pictures of these, I'm sorry you won't be getting any. The palace cat. It's a fucking cat. It's moving. Ah, the back. The bush tail rat kangaroo. Oh, these are weird. These are jumping jackers. Look at them. Little trampolines. There they are. They were invisible when they were flying, but when they're standing still, you can see them. Mama Dobbs, look away. This is the harvest mouse. These are the, these are the type of the mouses that you see in the uh, farms. Oh, little tiny cute little guys. Look at them. Oh, these guys are doing acrobatics, doing backflips. Yeah, do a backflip. 
But I'm not fat though. Yo, this guy's doing bad tricks. <laughs> These are the um, bush babies. Yo, look at him. One trick. Ray, Ray. Ah, look at him. Tell you what though people, I didn't think that this can would have actually picked up all that lot, but it actually did. That's um even though no light was being flashed at all, I can get so many good clips out of that then. That was really really good. Uh god my hair still looks like a freaking mess. It's because I've been wearing my headphones all the time. And we're on another freaking hill if you guys want to know. We're almost finished. Um so pretty much I've seen pretty much nearly all the animals now. The only thing left I haven't found yet is of course the panda. And it's just such a massive queue, fucking hell. I mean a super long ass queue. So I'll part me things myself, should I get something to eat? But most likely it's not eating that's the problem for me. It's drinking. So possibly I'm gonna probably get myself a few cold drinks and I might start queuing up. So let's go ahead and do the uh, the long ass waiting game to see the pandas. So I've gone ahead and um, bought myself some drinks from the actual vending machine and now we're going to head off to line up for the one and only panda and its cubs. So let's go ahead and I'll see you at the queue because I have a good good feeling this queue is going to go on for fucking hours. Let's do it. What's up? <laughs> the windows reflection's awful. There we go. Where's it going? Now, I thought this did not exist. I thought this was just a joke on the um, the Persona games, the Sega games. You get my gist. Fuck it's one bolts. That's funny. Oh my god. That's funny as hell. Probably yeah, there's a funny story that my mum could definitely tell you guys one day, but that's freaking great. Okay, so now I've seen the other animals now, because I didn't even know about that area then. Um, the IIs we can't go into because they're doing maintenance. Like I said, some animals you can't go and see because of the maintenance and all that lot. And also, they're like, all well, it's past their bedtime, or whatever you would want to call it. I thought it was a real animal then, it's not, it's a fake gecko. <laughs> Weird. Um, but we still got these left, the crocodiles and the uh, turtles. So, I need to go and change my camera in a minute, my battery again, because it's still about to go flat again. That means my second one done, that means I've only got one battery pack left. So that means, I oh God hope I don't want out of battery now. Not, when, not until I get to my pandas, no way. <laughs> The size of it. That's just its tail on its feet. It goes all the way through. Holy shit, how big is this thing? Oh my god. That thing's massive. Oh, my God. 
There's the mother. God damn. Oh, he's right down there. The yellow head monster. Now that is a tortoise. It says that these things are supposed to live for hundreds upon hundreds of years. And they are priced of rather at least $750,000 to get one of these turtles at this size. Um, if you get smaller turtles, they're probably a few thousand dollars, but when you grow and you look after them, they become such the most grandest stage of them all. They're like a Ferrari for pet. This is the Lamborghini of pets, this, these animals. Well, it's one of the dragons. So, uh, that was the um, amphibians and reptiles and all the rest of them type of creatures. So now it's time for the main piece of the of resistance, whatever you want to bloody call it. The panda. Oh, this is going to be such a long ass wait. I can feel it right now. Shit. Because what time is it now? Let me check my trusty phone. You guys know me, I don't carry watches. Thirteen forty-nine. Oh my god! So it's almost two o'clock. I have a feeling this is gonna be a queue for like two hours at least. I have a feeling it's gonna be like that. So wish me luck, people. Let's hope we get to see this freaking panda. I got hope so because we did see it last time, which is great. But that was the one that has, has now sadly moved on and gone to another country. These are the new pandas. Definitely want to check them by myself. Please God, I can find them and see them. So it's been about 25 minutes and I'm actually getting close to the end of the queue now. It turns out it wasn't going to be two hours, it was only 50 minutes so we got blessed. Which is freaking amazing people, freaking amazing. Still queued up a little bit but I actually am in the actual prefecture part now. But there's the plan, I'm just literally lying down. We went past one that was over there but it looks like that one's for filming, like for for for. For, for, for filming, filming. Well, let's go in. <gasps> panda is inside. There's one of the pandas. I think that's one. This one is. This is the this is the mother. Oh, no, oh, it can't be because the mother was outside. This must be one of the kids. Just having a nice sleep. Once again. Facing behind our back again. We're gonna do it one more time, people. One, two, three. Never stops, does it? No, that's a proper shot, why not? That's definitely the teenager boy. That's the boy.
So pretty much we get ourselves a minute and a half to be on one position and then we have to move to the next position, people. To be honest, that's actually quite fair for a lot of people, so that's really, really good. So people don't have to, so, so pretty much people do not need to spend 10 minutes on one area. They can easily move and get different positions. But this must be the worst position you can think of. He's just got literally filming his bollocks. <laughs> uh, I'm very happy that I got to see all three pandas. He's moving. Tell you what, people, for literally three minutes to go and see that panda, definitely worth the, definitely worth the wait. Um, a lot of people may be thinking, obviously, you just wasted so much of your life at that time just to see one panda, well, two, well, three pandas. The third one I didn't have a chance to take a picture of because we had to walk right away past it because it's pretty much for um, paparazzis, like proper ones. Somebody must have been doing a documentary or something about the pandas, so a lot, a lot of film crews there, so we had to skip that one. But the other two, we did get to see, we saw the, um, the little girl and the um, and the teenage boy, so that's really really good. But we didn't get to see the actual mother, which was the one that I wanted to film. But it doesn't really matter. I got I got to see, for me I got to see all three because I, I walked past the first first one. But we've got video clips and foot and photography of both the other two pandas, so I'm extremely happy. So there is nothing left in the zoo for me now. That was the last animal, so it's time for us to skedaddle out of there. Mission complete. So, that is the end of the zoo. I think it was absolutely an amazing day to be honest, don't you think people? Now, what is gonna be left for to do today? I'm going back to Ikebukuro to go after them booster boxes. Then after that, hmm, I might go to Akiba again, you know. Akiba's always gonna be the spot that I'm always gonna go back to because I'm always there all the time because I'm literally living live in that area. And then I'm probably gonna go get some to eat as well. I might get some to eat in Ikebukuru, maybe. Um, because you guys, you guys know me, I'm, I like looking around, but if this place looks just so nice. So I'm gonna look at the maps really quick, see if there's a book off or a mandrake or a hard off around here and see what we have in store in this area besides the zoo. So I'll see you guys when we find the next area. See you in a bit. <laughs>